Hello everybody. This is the Master Seder. I am on my whitelist server today and I'm talking about cultivating mushrooms for mushroom stew. And I've been playing with this pretty heavily, lots of hours for the last couple days because I wanted to uh, figure out the best way to grow and cultivate mushrooms so that you can have them. Now, the best way to grow and cultivate mushrooms is on a public, on a Minecraft server. Single player, you're going to have to leave the game up and go AFK while in game in order for them to grow. But they seem to grow pretty well in multiplayer because you can just plant them and then you can log off, do whatever you want, and the server keeps running. So, um, first thing is to go to the nether. Whoops, I didn't go in the right door. Uh, welcome to my house. It's got a tower. We'll go. Anyways, first thing you need to do is to get some mushrooms to start with. Now, I recommend in order to to b get the best crop to start with three or four of each kind. Now, I've got a few. As you can see, I've got some brown and some red. Now, I started with seven of each. So, I've about tripled my... Tripled my income of what I've got. Now, first things first, we're going to go to the nether so I can show you what happens in the nether. Because in 1.6, Notch added the ability to grow, to cultivate mushrooms. And uh, because they grow and spread, they do so very well in the nether. So, I don't have to go out that door. I can go out this door. So, um, this is my ballroom. I've got a little secret passageway under my fountain to go down to my nether portal. So, uh, they grow. Let's go over to the port nether and show you how they grow. Now, because I don't want to be destroyed, I've built a little shelter as soon as we get over there. You can hear them screaming and whining. But, there's one right there, turn away planted these and they haven't grown so planting your own on the net in the nether don't seem to grow very well but if you find some that have already been planted like down here I've got some browns they started out as like two but now there's like 70 so what you do is you just let them grow let's go back up here and get out of here because he's firing at me so if you have access to the nether and you want to grow them over there it should work just fine so if i plant like now you can't plant them too close together but let's start with six we'll plant, we'll plant six here and we'll see how well they grow in my little shelter but let's go back to my overworld so that i can show you how to grow and cultivate them in the real world now i've messed with this a lot i mean uh i I built r different rooms, I tried in complete darkness, I tried with some light, and I think I have found the best way to grow them, so, and to yield the best. So, let's go over to my room that I've prepared for growing uh, mushrooms over here. So, over in this room, let's close it, I've built this little, these rooms. And there's creepers in there. So the downfall of growing mushrooms is you're going to get the baddies. So I need to get rid of these guys. Let me go get a bow and arrow because they'll that'll be the best way to get rid of them. And that's why I put the windows in because in those rooms they need to be pretty dark. And I found out through trial and error that one redstone torch seems to give them just the right amount of light so that they grow properly. I tried them in complete darkness and went AFK for hours and they didn't grow. So I think I got some more arrows over here. Do I? No. That's okay. Oops. I'll just... I want some arrows. So, sorry, yes, I, I do have this 
world edit added so I can do stuff like this. So, with my bow, I should be able to get rid of those creepers pretty easily. And this is the only place in my base where they where baddies spawn because of the inherent error that they need to grow in darkness. So, we'll go in here. Oh, dear. All right. So I got rid of my the bad guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and plant. So the way that I found that plants the best is to plant seven. So I, what I do is I plant seven in an alternating fashion in the back. And now I run out. I go AFK. AFK. Let's plant some uh, red ones downstairs. Close that. And due to the magic of film editing, we will go AFK and we will watch this and we will see how well they uh, actually grow. So I think one redstone torch should be plenty. Um, I've got a couple out, one out here and I got one upstairs too. So um, we're just going to let this record. I've got an errand to run. I'll be away for about two hours of real time um, in game that should be 120 minutes that should be 10 days in game um, and this will work they'll keep growing even if you uh, if you go away so I'm gonna time-lapse this I'm gonna play some music for you um, the music is linked to the music is in the underbar and if you see I've already got one that grew um, there let's go see how if I've got an extra one that grow grew up here not yet. So let's go ahead and stay up here. We'll watch this one. So link to the music's in the underbar. This will be about as boring as watching paint dry. And if you're interested in the physics of paint drying and how paint drying actually works, you can click right here. Um, this is a link to a, a web series by the University of Nottingham called 60 Symbols. Uh, this is a professor by the name of Dr. Or professor Moriarty who talks about the physics of paint drying. So, if you want to go check that out, um, go ahead, and then if you click here, you can jump to the end where I talk about the end if you don't want to watch the time-lapse crap. So, that's all the fun stuff, and I will see you guys later.
All right. Um, we just uh, finished our time lapse, and it looks like we've got oh, half a dozen extra in there. It is exactly two hours since the last time I left. Let's go downstairs and see what's here. Luckily, there's nothing, but I've got quite the crop of of uh, of mushrooms over here. Yes, you can come down. Come on. That was my cat. All right. So it looks like one redstone torch will allow them to grow quite well in the overworld. So um, thanks for uh, being patient and watching my my little thing. And hopefully this will help you all cultivate. Um, mushrooms in order to uh, use them as food to heal yourself. So, uh, I guess that's all I got. Thanks for watching. And since it's night, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go hop in my bed. And we will see you later.